And uh, on GH Startup, we highlight entrepreneurs who are making the most out of the resources that are available to them uh, as they employ other people and give themselves, you know, a source of livelihood. Um, this, uh, on today's um, GH Startup, startup uh, with as little as 50 CDs, uh, she managed to set up her own business, uh, which is Home Baking Tuition Ghana and Velvet Cup Tales. We put the spotlight on 28-year-old Christelle Nani, who wants to change the negative perception of customer care and give the baking business an international national appeal be inspired. Crystal Nine was fired after her boss felt she wasn't needed at her bakery. Having worked for three years with her boss, the 28-year-old graduate of the University of Professional Studies Accra felt she had acquired enough expertise to start up something on her own. I worked with my certificate for a couple of um, months. However, I wasn't pleased with the dawn to dusk sort of lifestyle. It was draining me and I felt I wasn't given enough as compared to my output. So I decided to go solo. On a great day, I can make as much as 2,500 to 3,000. And on a really dry day, maybe 1,500, 300. I don't go about, yeah. So far, she's been able to train over 100 people with home baking tuition Ghana. It depends on your determination as a student, of course. And um, I have a very flexible timetable. Talking about cream cakes, it takes you two days. The first day is for baking from scratch, and the second day is for decorating with whipped cream and buttercream. And when we're talking about um, heavy cakes, not dessert cakes, we're talking about wedding cakes, we're talking about anniversary cakes, cakes that are expecting to last longer than a week. I would say that it takes about three to four days, depending on how um, fast the student picks up, because the fondant work is pretty tedious, so we have to take it step by step. And the very last day, that is after the first two days, is for sugar crafts. Velvet Cup Tales, on the other hand, is getting numerous orders for several occasions, particularly bad days. I like to say that I work with my customers' budget. I wouldn't want to give you a fixed price because some students are sharper than others, so I would make it easier for you as well as it is for me. So um, I charge from a range of 500 CDs and above. But how easy or difficult is it starting up a business in Ghana? Crystal tells me she doesn't fancy office work. For the meantime, her certificate can rest. Initially, it wasn't easy because, well, I, I am a brilliant student and they felt like, oh, so after all this, Crystal is now selling cake. People did laugh at me at the beginning, but guess what? I made it! <laughs> and who's laughing now? <laughs> According to her, business comes with good and bad days. Voila! And so this chocolate fudge cake is ready for delivery and the client is paying some 400 Ghana cities for this and it comes to delivery actually. And Crystal tells me everything in there is local. She doesn't patronize foreign staff for her, you know, work. And so she wants to promote made in Ghana goods. So can you share with me a worst experience? My worst experience this year was uh, Valentine's Day. Um, a customer brought in a, a rider to take some orders for him and I also thought it would be quick if I gave him some orders for uh, the same vicinity that was in Laboni and he had a, an accident he had a collision with another vehicle and everything over I think roughly 20 to 21 bouquets he had a very big box so everything just ruined so that was around 400 cities worth of cakes that were just gone at that time, I, I, at that moment, I broke down, but I'm over it, so it's good. Yeah. Her 65 year old mother, Kate Mark, and believe the time is now for parents to allow their wars follow their passion. It's more than, well, they can force a child to do. Sometimes they'll try to please you, but halfway through, they come back. 
can track whatever they want to do. You can't force your child to do what you want. Mm. Yes, she has to choose her own career. Mm. Okay, so I think it's my first time seeing a cake like this. It look a bit weird. If sorry, I'm not getting the right word. I agree with you. As you can see, it is far from being perfect. It is not perfect at all. But I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for um, the customer to have that experience. You know, they see this cake coming, they go like, mm. you know, typical Ghanaian who go like, mm, what is this? And then they take a bite and they go like, wow, who did this cake yeah, for yeah, you? I got, I got That's a basically what I'm looking wow. for. And I always hit it right on the spot. She had a word of advice for the youth. It's not easy, but it's worth it. I started with 50 CDs and I'm here. So there's nothing like I don't have enough capital. Even if it's two CDs, you have a phone. You have, if you're on Facebook, if you're on WhatsApp, it's not the time, it's not, the, this is not the time for you to take pictures of yourself and try and maybe attract other people. I always want to be remembered by my ability to think because beauty is ephemeral. So if you're out there and you have the mind, you have the ideas, don't sit on them. You can go out, even if you have to be a porter for two days to raise your capital, do it. You won't regret it. Wow, this is nice. I think it's time for me to sign up for a week, you know, tuition here. And so bosses, I'm asking for a week off. <laughs> so if you don't hear from me, I'm trying my hands on something new uh, to be a better person, a better husband. And so from Tishu Nungwe Estate, uh, Kristen Yan came your way with a baking business. She's really doing great. And she just started with 50 Ghana cities. Watch your excuse. I think it's time for you to also do bigger things. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching.